So imagine that we have this circular textiles program running mm -hmm. in practice, implemented. What does it mean for the fashion industry? Do they need to change their business models? Yep. Brands have a huge part to play in this and I wish they would, you know, realise that more maybe, though I see that their mindset is beginning to shift. Um, sh on the short term, they can begin by just sourcing recycled content, just being, you know, the demand that they are, um, putting, you know, buying standards in place. Um, already that would begin to uh, really move things along and get the cogs turning. Um, but also, you know, uh, alongside just taking these materials, they should be supplying materials into the system. And this is a really interesting development we're seeing, whereby brands are almost voluntarily um, taking on this extended producer responsibility, you know, mindset. That they feel that in mass balance, they should be producing and selling as much as they're uh, collecting and recycling. So you could do that in a number of ways. You know, you could simply have in-store collection like H&M do. Um, you could look at your, you know, your e-commerce model and how you can organize reverse logistics to get textiles back from those consumers. Or as you say, you could really look at your business model at a very basic level and say, what if we aren't selling products anymore but loaning or leasing? And then the consumer is obliged to bring those textiles back. So, you know, you have the example of Mud Jeans here in Holland who were one of the first people to do this. So, fashion design, how can it help? If we look at design and possibilities for designers, fashion designers, to address these issues, what would be options? Well, what we've touched on business model is a big part. But if we're just talking about design uh, and the process of design, what we kind of term design for cyclability, you know, we, if we presume that these clothes are going to come back into the system, then why don't we design them in the optimum way to make sure that they can go through that system really easily, really naturally? So, you know, of course, you've got your biological and your technical loop. Um, for example, Freitag uh, are a, uh, a design company who have looked at the biological loop and said, we're going to make a fully biodegradable uh, collection, um, right down to the, the screws you know, and the buttons that can uh, be unscrewed and taken out before you put it in your compost heap. Um, and similarly, for the technical loop, you, know, you need to look at your linings, your buttons, your zips. Um, think about how you can design a garment so that it uh, is made for disassembly. If you are combining cotton with polyester, for instance, know that that cotton can be separate and that polyester can be separated when that time comes. Um, even simple things like the stitch, a polyester stitch on a cotton garment, you know, can be an issue.